I went to work today. So this morning I woke up and I got out of bed nice and early and got ready. And I was like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And I tried some Brain Octane MCT oil, like the, the best kind, apparently, that helps you helps the body release ketones, and oh my gosh, I had two tablespoons of it, and I felt alive, I felt um, my energy coming back, my thinking became focused, I was sleepy this morning, and that kind of, like I was ready to go, I marched all the way to the station, I was gone for five hours, I did my grocery shopping, as I've mentioned before, I live at the top of a hill, it's a 17 minute walk each way to the station, and I... In those five hours, I went to work, I did my grocery shopping, I picked up stuff, I took uh, pictures of my workplace, just in case it was the last time I ever saw it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I did lots of grocery shopping. I had radishes, kimchi, vegetables, jujube um, dates, which are like Chinese uh, dates, they're like a version of like apples and dates they're, they're not apples and they're not dates either they're this unique thing you have to google it jujube i like them they're very nice um yeah loads of stuff and i came back i had to walk slowly back up the hill to get home but i did it and i was quite knackered by the time i got back i left at 11 o'clock and i got home just before four five hours people i did it and i was like i did it without eating this MCT oil is awesome. Brain octane oil. <laughs> so from now on, um, that's just what I'm going to do if I'm tired. I had that and it made me feel like great again, just like I'd eaten breakfast. Um, so clearly, uh, this is a sign that my diet before my nightmare neighbor moved in was healthy. And uh, because... The way I walked to the station was the way I used to walk to work, full of energy. And yeah, it was so good. I'm so happy. I'm so delighted. I was so worried. I thought I'd end up like shaking and be like, oh my gosh, I have to eat something. I can't take another step. But it wasn't like that at all. Ah, oh, I'm so, so happy. So you know what I did when I got home? I'm such a sinner. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what happened. <laughs> I was like, because I've been thinking like yesterday as well. I was like, God, can I just can I just pause this 40 day fast for a few days and then like continue it? <laughs> Would that be okay? <laughs> and I could feel like God laughing. And of course, I'd be laughing as well because we both know it's it's a bit silly, really. It's a 40, <laughs> it's a 40 day fast. Come on. <laughs> but um, but I got the impression like we both smiled. So, um, this morning, because I was scared, I was going to not make it. I made myself oat sourdough and I cut myself onions and cooked potatoes and there were thyme, um, thyme herbs in it and chives and a little bit of soy sauce, uh, balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar. And, um, it smelled absolutely amazing. And I added a little bit of, um, red hot pepper, the same pepper that, that um, I use when I make kimchi, so the hot Korean stuff, um, and I use some of that, and um, it smelled absolutely amazing when it came out the oven today, and um, I didn't eat it, and when I came home, I was just like, this smells so amazing, and that was it, I had one bite, and I was like, that's it, I'm a sinner, I'm done, <laughs> guys, I'm a sinner, but that's okay, I'm doing this fast for myself and for God, so you guys, I don't care what you think, I mean, most of you don't even watch these videos to the end anyway, so <laughs> I don't know actually. Um, I don't care. I don't look at analytics. I'm not doing this for anybody else apart from me. Um, I just hope that anybody who is watching does find some enjoyment in it, <laughs> does think I'm wacky or quirky or whatever. Um, yeah, because I like who I am. Yeah, I'm a sinner, but hey, as if that's news. <laughs> as if you're not. Uh... <laughs> So, um, but the exciting thing about this is that I feel so rejuvenated to keep going. I know I shouldn't have eaten, but I decided I'm going to cut out all sugar and I just, it, it just worked out that way. Psh, tough. I'm not going to analyze it too much. 
it is what it is. I'm going to extend the 40 day fast for a bit longer, probably if I want to. Um, probably as a, yeah, because I want to. But uh, I'm definitely ready to enjoy the last two weeks now. I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, what kicked all of this off was the fact that I woke up at um, 0048 this morning. <laughs> I'm very precise. <laughs> <laughs> according to my Fitbit, at least anyway, when I looked at the time. Uh, and I had a interesting dream. And I won't go into too much detail, but it was one of those dreams that you know is not just a normal random dream. This is a dream bigger than yourself. Uh, some people might go like, oh, that's a bit cheesy, but for me, for want of a better way of describing it in my limited vocabulary it was like a spiritual dream it was like it came from god i felt this intense anger throughout the entire dream the intensity did not change at all during the dream but it was a it was an all consuming anger and but it wasn't just like it was not a toxic anger um it was an anger that was like bigger than myself and I was hurt and in pain from carrying this anger and I was like god this anger does not belong to me this anger is your anger uh, and I and I was like I shouldn't be carrying this anger <laughs> if I could describe it in a color or a symbolism it was like it was this huge all-consuming fire uh, that was white and blue like with yellow at the edges it was so weird it, like, I know this is weird, guys, and I know half of you have probably turned off by now and aren't even listening anymore. <laughs> but I was like, but I woke up and and I felt this anger and it was related to something big in my life, um, big in my past, actually. Um, an anger that, yeah. And, um, and I woke up and the anger only lasted for a few more seconds um, before before my brain started switching on and and the anger disappeared because I'm not an angry person, so it naturally just dissipated. Um, yeah, it was quite a spiritual dream, spiritual dream. But but something has shifted inside of me. I can't get that dream out of my head. I wrote a journal about it because it was something really personal, and I wrote more than two pages about it. Um, and if I feel like a lot of stuff in my life has just been healed. Like, I know this sounds super crazy, super weird, and I'm still processing this myself, and I'm not one of, I'm not looking for spiritual signs, I'm not looking for dreams, like, I'm just telling you as it is, I'm still working this one out myself, but I'm kind of, yeah, I can't get it out of my head, and at the same time, I feel like I've changed, I feel like the anger that I've been carrying deep down inside, I feel like because we all have anger. We there's all everybody's had something that's happened to them in their lives that they've had no control over. And you just have to learn to let it go. I mean, that's what forgiveness is. The Bible says forgive your neighbor seventy times seven. It doesn't mean, you know, they can sin at you seventy times seven. You have to forgive them each time. It means that if something bad really happens to you and if, uh, you know, multiple times you get angry, even though you choose to forgive someone, like a day later, an hour later, five seconds later you get angry at them again, you know, and you have to make that decision. I choose to forgive this person until eventually you forget about it and then five years later you remember you maybe you'll get angry again you go ah oh, no I choose to forgive this person until you get to the point where you're not angry about it anymore that to me is what forgive your neighbor 70 times 7 means and um and I just feel like a lot of that anger that wasn't mine this something that happened to me this righteous anger that belonged to God I feel like I've given that anger back to him in a way like it's not my burden to bear anymore it's so liberating, so freeing. I'm so ready to do the rest of this fast now. Something's changed. Something's definitely changed. I can't forget this anger. It was a pure, holy anger. That it was all-consuming. And yet, I was totally in control of it. And yet, it was so much bigger than me. It w weird. Alright, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's late. It's two minutes past eight. Um, I have decided to spring clean my flat. So now that I've got energy, I'm going to burn it off and I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to 
there's another part. I know why I also ate because I have a lot of things to do. I have to pack my bed and all of that. And I have to do a lot of stuff in my flat, and all of that stuff requires energy. And um, I've been struggling the last few days doing these things. I've been putting stuff off. So part of me eating was also a stress response. The fact that I have to get this work done. I have to sell my bed because I need to sort my finances out. So um, eating was, yeah, it, I know it was partly a stressful reaction. Um, but the good news is about it is that um, I, f I was more in control of it than ever. Uh, and um, yeah, tough. It is. It's done. I accepted it. Um, it is what it is. So I will see you tomorrow. Um, yeah. Good night. Sleep well. I hope you have wonderful dreams. It's been a while since I had um, a dream from God like that. That... Um, shakes you to the very core that touches like every atom of your body yeah i love it i love it when dreams like that happen because you can't get them out of your head for the rest of your life i still remember the last dream i had yeah oh i love who i am i'm unique <laughs> i know I, I know some people are like oh wait she's way too spiritual like unsubscribe or whatever but hey god made me the way i am and i'm just naturally going to express myself because I love the way God made me. I am so unique. I'm not perfect, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm shaking the table so much. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just totally being me right now. <laughs> I'm tired. I've got so much work to do. How many calories have I burned today? I've burned 2,100 plus calories today. And um, bearing in mind that during this fast, I've been averaging 1,760 calories in a 24-hour period. It is 8 o'clock at night, and there's so many up there already. So, yeah, I'm pretty knackered. Um, but I'm going to keep on working. I feel alive. I feel ready to go. Ah, oh, so excited. I'm just going to dance away and keep to my excited stuff. So, I will see you tomorrow and not rant anymore. Bye.